Hello, I'm Mike Dominguez, and I'm here to introduce Alfred Quiros, the artist and his art. Alfred was born in Tucson in 1944. After finishing high school, he enlisted in the United States Navy, and he served in the Navy for four years, including two tours in Vietnam. After being discharged from the Navy, he went to art school at the San Francisco Institute for Art. And there he received his Bachelor's of Fine Arts degree, his BFA. He then enrolled at the Rhode Island School of Design. That's a school we call RISD in the art world. And there he received an education degree called Master's of Art Teaching. In 1979, Alfred moved back to Tucson and was accepted into the graduate art program at the University of Arizona. And while he was there, he had three of the best teachers you could possibly have to be a painter. He had Bruce McGrew, Robert Colescott, and James Davis. And Alfred received his Master's of Fine Arts degree, his MFA, in 1984. And he was invited to join the art faculty at the University of Arizona, which he did and taught painting for many years. And in 2000. 18, he finally retired, Professor Emeritus. Over his long career, he has received international and national recognition as an important Latino artist for his social political paintings. Paintings that can inspire delight, outrage, and sometimes outright rejection. Among his nu numerous and notable achievements and awards, he received the Arizona Artists Award from the Tucson Community Foundation. He received a Purchase Award from the Museum of Fine Arts in Santa Fe, New Mexico, a Fulbright Fellowship, and from LULAC he received the Latin Artist Lifetime Achievement Award. He also received the James Anthony Award for Sustained Excellence in Education while he was a teacher at the University of Arizona. Alfred is a muralist, besides being a painter of canvases, and he's conducted mural projects in a lot of places, including Chiapas, Mexico. He was a visiting artist in Botslavia, Slovakia. He had a solo exhibit of his art in Barcelona, Spain. And he was part of a U.S.-China art exchange in Beijing. He's been included in numerous art publications, including the St. Jane Guide to Hispanic Artists, the book Contemporary Chicano, Chicana Art, and the book Redefining American History Painting. He's been included in many, many national and international exhibits and performed mural projects too numerous to list here. I will say that I cannot think of another living Tucson artist whose work matches the achievements that our Alfred has in his career. I've known this man for 20 years since he's been showing at Davis Dominguez Gallery. And I will say this, he's a Latino artist for sure, but I do not consider him a strictly Chicano artist. And that's because, well, he can talk about the Mexican-American experience and the struggles thereof, but his scope is much, much broader than that. Alfred paints the whole enchilada. <laughs> I didn't mean to say that. <laughs> um, he, he paints the entire breadth of, of human experience, social and political experience. Issues such as recent and past evils, social injustice, conflict, tragic events, foolish contradictions worldwide, and closer to home, reflections on odd and significant moments of his life from childhood to his experience in Vietnam and uh, beyond. Alfred is called a history painter and rightfully so. His dioramic canvases are highlighted by obscure and prescient examples of dirty little truths that have been and continue to be swept under the carpet in history lessons. And he's telling us that it's time to shake out that rug and correct the inconvenient and convenient errors 
of our mission. Now, Alfred breaks myths, and that makes him an iconoclast. His style, which I call a sort of neo-pop, is a carefully controlled and brilliantly crafted comic book style. And it's designed as a facade. And the intent is to catch the unwary viewer in a sudden exposure to what might be an off-putting truth, dose of reality, as if it had been painting it in a regular academic style. Now that academic style is one that Alfred knows how to do very, very well, because I've seen it. But we won't be seeing that style in Alfred's work. He keeps that in his back pocket in order to tell his message to a wider audience. And now let's take a look at some of his terrific paintings. <laughs> 